welcome or welcome back to my channel i don't know how many times i've been on camera with this towel on my head but i'm gonna take it off in a second let's actually let's take it off now because i'm kind of scaring myself a little so welcome i already said that today i'm vlogging i decided to do this because i've been saying that i'm gonna put out like a hair routine skincare makeup routine all of that but i was like why not just put it in a video like in a vlog because i have other stuff i want to include so that's what we're doing today i decided to start off with like my hair care because i needed to wash my hair so i was like this is perfect washing hair doing hair hair care i get a lot of questions honestly about how i style it so we're gonna style it today as well in the shower like shampooing stuff it's kind of like the same as it's always been if you've watched previous hair videos i use olaplex shampoo and conditioner and then i used to use like oils and stuff i kind of I stopped using them but i forgot what it's called rice water oil thing from i'll put a picture of it up i used that and then this one other oil from miel those i would put on the night before i would wash it i would put it in my hair and massage it and stuff like that which i kind of want to get back into but it helps like hair growth and all this good stuff but i haven't done it in a while i use the olaplex shampoo and conditioner and then i have the olaplex hair mask i use it like once a month i don't really use it that often but i'll rinse my hair with water before i shower before i wash it kind of squeeze out the water and then like put it on my scalp and down my hair and just leave it on for like 10-15 minutes and then go in the shower shampoo and conditioner and it's kind of like all i do the shampoo and conditioner i shampoo twice shampoo rinse shampoo rinse condition that's what i do that's like it for my hair though i don't go like too crazy with the hair care which i feel like i should but i don't i always try to get into it and then i'm like what am i doing we're gonna style it after i get coffee skincare once a month i'm not even kidding i will buy new skincare and i will start a new routine and it never ever lasts i always stick to my cerave so now i literally wash my face with the cerave face wash and i will moisturize with the cerave moisturizer i don't use anything else but what i was using and what i tried to get into literally spent so much at sephora the lady was helping me literally so much toner at night not in the morning but i would use a toner and then two serums and then i would moisturize and i was like oh it's kind of a lot and i kind of stopped doing that but the toner is glow recipe i heard like great things about the spread that's why i got it and then the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum and then glow recipe strawberry smooth serum i used to use those i kind of want to get back into it but like i literally just put on my cerave and i call it a day anyway aside from that i do have like a scar going on on my face so i got this so listen up if you have scars because i went on sephora i have a scar so i needed scar cream i got one from my dermatologist but it really wasn't i didn't like it i was looking on sephora and someone's review of this one i'll link this down below i'll link like whatever i'm talking about down below but her review you could see how big her scar was and it's gone now like i had stitches here so it's like a stitch scar i don't know it's not i don't know if this works for like acne scar but it says scar diminishing serum and from her before and after i was like i need it so i put some before my moisturizer in the mornings and at night and it's kind of slowly but surely going away i don't know how long it's going to take i try not to put in the sun uh, the one thing i need is the sunscreen so do you have any sunscreen recommendations i used one once and it made my face like literally white and i was like not white but like it looked pale i need one that's like just clear so if you have any good recommendations let me know i know this was it super goop or something like that is good but let me know if you have any good ones because i need to start using it on my face like need is an understatement that's kind of my hair and skin routine it's kind of boring but I also, I burned really bad over spring break and then also like just recently again. And now like I'm finally like just getting tan. But this is literally $5 at CVS and it's after sun aloe vera lotion. I don't know if this is like a stupid thing to recommend. You guys all probably know what aloe does, but the lotion, I don't like regular aloe. It's like sticky. I use this all over my body and it's just, I don't peel. Like I've peeled so much before. I put this on when I know I'm like burnt and it just it's perfect so literally five dollars cvs i'll also link this down below literally link everything but i've been using this on literally my whole body and my tan has been staying just not my face obviously anyway that is all my skincare and hair stuff we'll style it a lot of people were asking how i like blow it out and stuff so we're gonna do that today i have like a lot of books i want to show you guys i want to do like a mini book haul because i bought a lot recently which is not that good and then my mom wants to go to some like dog store i don't know i guess we'll do that i want to go get coffee now though it's like 10 a.m i also really need to edit vanilla sweet cream cold brew i literally do that every time this thing i talked about in one of my recent vlogs it's so so good it's like a tinted lip balm but like it's thick like i love it naturium i don't know phyto glow lip balm and petal oh my god it's literally so good i'm obsessed with it, it makes my lips like look good anyway let's get coffee Now, I don't have to lean my camera on the chair anymore. It might be crooked, but hair care, hair routine. I have two products I use, and then I have three styling tools. Kind of a lot, but when my hair is wet and I want to put heat on it, I use this heat shield, waterless 
heat protectant from Target. It looks like this. I will just spray this literally everywhere. Then I have my Olaplex hair oil. I used this before and after my hair is styled. I kind of focus it on the ends and then around the hair. I try to let my hair air dry as much as I can, but if I can't, like I have something to do in a couple hours, so I'm gonna just go in with a regular blow dryer. But if my hair like fully air dried, I would use my dry bar, which is this. It's like kind of like the Revlon one, but like I think it's better. I use this on dry hair. I don't use it on wet hair. I don't want to ruin my hair. But my hair is not dry, so if it was, I would use this, but we're gonna regular blow it out. So I'll show you how I do that and then curl it a little with a wand. I've given up on regular hair like clamp curling irons i like the way the wand looks right now so anyway i also stopped using rollers i feel like it takes so much effort to put them in and then my hair doesn't even like last like it doesn't bounce and curl it gives me doesn't last so. the brush that i use is from kitsch i feel like the brush really helps the most because i used a different round brush and it didn't make my hair look good but this is such a good brush from kitsch i don't know i love this thing so before I section it out and do each section, I always do my bangs first just because once they're like fully dried out and like after I get to them, they don't look that, that good. My bangs are now, look how long they are, past my chin, thank god. They used to be so short. I remember I cut them last year and I've been like dying for them to grow out and they finally are. I finally put it in a ponytail and not have them hang out. I'll blow them under like this a few times and then I'll go above it, twist it, and kind of like drag it back and just hold it here. So I let my front pieces be done first, even though I'm gonna clip them up. I just don't want them to get too crazy while they're like clipped up on top of my head. I run through the hair with the blow dryer and the brush until the section's like almost dry, and then I'll split it into smaller sections. And I'll just run under with the blow dryer like this and kind of roll it under at the ends until it's fully dry. With every single piece, I roll it under, but I make sure that's fully dry before I like start doing that. I'll do the side first so that you can kind of see. <laughs> It's dry. I'm gonna do this side and the next section because it's all the same and then I'll be back to the top. So I did this whole side. We have this section left. It's like the last section. I don't really know how to explain what I do. I blow it under like I did every other section, like down like that, but then I'll kind of like flip it over, like around back and bring it forward. You'll see. But here's my hair after. This is usually what I leave it as. And if I want to do the extra step, I will curl it a little. So I guess we'll do that. Let me plug in my curling wand. This is the Hot Tools. I think it's an inch and a quarter. But I oil again. While it heats up, I'll show you my makeup products, my go-tos. In the meantime, when I get a tan, I don't like to wear makeup. Best curling wand or curling lash curler ever. This is the Tweezerman one. Literally the best one. And then my go-to, Telescopic Carbon Black. I will not ever change mascara. This is so good. I just do my brows. I use either one of these two. The Brow Definer by Anastasia or the L'Oreal brow style definer. These two are just amazing. And then the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. I need a new one to keep my brows in place. And then for lips, either Pillow Talk Medium 2 or regular Pillow Talk, which I don't have with me right now, but I've been using Medium 2. If I do put stuff on my face, I use this Flawless Filter in 4.5. It's a little light for me right now. I just haven't really been using it. I don't really want to wear face makeup. So either that and just like cream products I use. So Charlotte Tilbury and then this I've been using for years. The Glossier Cloud Paint and Beam. But I'm going to use my go-to product that I don't, well, not really face products, just like my lashes, my brows, my lip. I'm gonna put that on and then we'll curl my hair. That's really it. It just makes me feel put together even though it's not a lot. So I only curl the ends of it. So I go really quick and I don't like part it or anything. I know I shouldn't brush it with this brush, but that's all I have right now. So I take the wand. I'll just start like with the back of my head, just a random piece. Like I'll start at like this part of my hair and wrap it around like once or twice and then hold it like upside down, always away from my face. And then I'll just like kind of catch it and then just like let it go. And I'll do that with my whole head, but only the bottom half. Like don't go higher than that. You'll see. All right. 
right, I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be right back. So this is what it looks like right after that. It's just like more volume when you give it like a little bit of a curl. I also, for like haircut wise, I sometimes get questions. I just get long layers. I used to have curtain bangs if you've been here for a while. I'm letting those grow out and now they're just like kind of like face framing angles. Like is that what they're called? They're just like a little, they go like here and then like the rest of my hair kind of like follows. I also used to glaze it super dark. Like my hair used to be like almost black, but like thanks to like the sun and stuff, it's getting lighter. You kind of can't tell right now, but like in the sun, it's definitely lighter. I stopped doing that. I just want my natural hair to come back. The glazes kind of like wash out over time, not fully, but like kind of will. But yeah, that is skin, hair, makeup, my go-tos, what I do. It's like blowing up my hair kind of like came with time. Like sometimes my arm like literally couldn't coordinate the way I wanted it to, but now it's fine. All right, I'm gonna go edit. I also have to eat. What time is it? 11.30. I don't know how. It's already 11.30. I'm gonna go clean that. That should be fun. Okay, I'll be back after I edit. Hello, I'm taking a break from editing to talk about my most recent book purchases. Wait, I have a few, but we're gonna talk about these ones because I think I'm gonna read these ones more recent. I wasn't even in the frame, but this one, look at the cover. Definitely have seen it by this point because it's so pretty. I literally have been putting this on my nightstand next to my bed over there. And then I put a candle on top because of how cute it is. Like it's now like just part of like a piece on my dresser. That's just cute. I think it's like a second chance with like authors or something like that. But I'm gonna read this soon. It's just too pretty. Like I had to buy it. And I have The Confidence of Wildflowers. This one is pretty. I feel like getting maybe a little popular. It's age gap. So if you don't like age gap, like don't even try to read this because it's literally like birthday girl age gap. I think she's 18. He's like 30 something. I heard it's like okay. But then the ending, there's a duology. So there's a second one. But the ending kind of like is really good. It's like you want to read the second one. So I'm excited to get into this. It's kind of thick, but the words are kind of big. Then I bought Hook, Line, Sinker. I read it happened one summer and I really loved the sister in it so I'm excited for this one. This one's more friends to lovers and like the first one's enemies to lovers so I'm excited for that. And then I bought The Kind Worth Killing. This is a thriller. Who told me? I think it was Ellie on Instagram. She like literally told me I need to read this book so I'm pretty sure they meet on like a plane and he plans to like kill her wife or something. I don't know. Something like that. But when I want to read a thriller like I'm gonna pick this up. I also love the cover. I think it's really cool. Those are my recent purchases. But last month I read on my phone the Mindfuck series and I loved like so much reading on my phone like I read so quick so I just finished Swear on My Life last night I read that one pretty quick it was only like 300 pages and then I had a Colleen book on my phone that was downloaded well on my Kindle but like I have Kindle app I've been reading on and I've been reading Too Late I started it last night I don't really hear about that one too much but I'm trying to get through all of Colleen's books so that was first because it was Kindle Unlimited that's my current read I literally started it yesterday I think I'm on page like 32 there's 388 so it's not that bad but I've been loving reading on my phone like I think I just read so much quicker and i can read it more places it's so convenient so i'm trying to get through the books that i already have i'm like on a book buying ban so don't tell me to buy any more books unless it's kindle unlimited i'm not buying it i need to read what i have because there's so many books i need to get to anyway also bought a calendar it's really cute it's like blue flowers i got it from target but it doesn't start until july so you can't use it unfortunately and today is june 8th my birthday is in six days it's the 14th i have literally have no plans i didn't plan anything i told chris i was like i don't really want to do anything i don't really care. I don't know if that's like mean or whatever, so I'll probably end up just doing something calm. I'll vlog it, but I don't really want to do anything crazy. I am redoing my room kind of. Not like redoing it, but like I'm getting new things. Like I took away remember all those big tan pillows on my bed? They're gone. I got new pillowcases. I put this next to my bed because I had to take it home from school. It used to be like a little nightstand. I gave it to Chris because like I don't need it and it was like it was like cute. He needs a nightstand, so I gave it to him. I just ordered a new throw blanket. I ordered posters for my walls. Like one is gonna go here and then one's gonna go over there. And then I'm getting a new desk chair. So once all that's done, I'll do a room tour. I was gonna include a little room tour in this, but I wanna wait until my posters are up. One of them is here, it's literally in my closet. I ordered frames yesterday, two of them. So the other posters coming next week, the two frames come tomorrow. I don't wanna show the posters just yet because they are really freaking cute. Yeah, I'm excited. It's all sparked because I wanted new pillows. So I got like the floral pillowcases from Target and now I'm just kind of like doing everything around that. Once I get everything done, my next vlog will probably be a room tour included. I was gonna include it in this, but I feel like that's a lot in one and plus not everything is here yet but i'm so excited i feel like i've outgrown like the whole beige what was up here like the macrame thing and like the boho theme like i feel like that was so me four years ago and i did that when i went i think i did it three years ago but that's what, that was like my vibe for a while and i feel like i need to change my room because now i'm living home for a little i also don't quote me but i really want to focus on like youtube so i don't know exactly what i'm gonna be doing but i want to put like a lot of time into my channel and for you guys so 
trying to pump out content come up with content work on my channel make videos that you guys like so that's what i've been doing yeah i think that's like it i don't have any other updates that's like a lot i haven't vlogged in a while so i was very excited for today i like spit so much information and like updates on my life to you guys but you know what it's fine okay mom great it's 12 o'clock now i need food maybe i'll go sit in my chair eat some food and wait for my mom because i think she wants to i don't know take the dog somewhere which could be fun but it's kind of chilly out all right this is my outfit of the day guys this top and the pants are both from brandy i like it because it matches like the georgetown's navy and the shorts are navy and i really liked it my cardigan's really old from american eagle okay bye guys i got a package oh, i got two literally if you guys know me my venmo card is the love of my life i keep some money in my venmo like balance and i have a venmo debit card and i like use that to pay for like coffee sometimes and it literally feels like i'm using free money kind of stupid but the other day i woke up and there was a starbucks charge in my venmo card and i was like I didn't go to Starbucks yet. I opened it and it was from Seattle, Washington. So I got in contact with Venmo. I was like, someone like hacked my account. And Venmo customer service is like amazing. If you have Venmo issues, I highly recommend chatting in the live chat with them. They were like, yeah, he hacked your card, bought like $8 worth of Starbucks and they sent me a new one. I'm so excited because I haven't been able to use my Venmo in like a week. And like I said, I am big Venmo girl. And then I got this. I don't know what it is. Aww. <gasps> oh my God. Guys. <gasps> Green Gables shop, paint it. It says, I prefer fictional world, cobalt ink. <gasps> A place where we're just Nina Zendik and Matthias. <laughs> I am unwell. Hail Co. Princesses of Philly. <gasps> Normal people. I'm not a religious person, but I so do sometimes think God made you for me. Book talk. I love crying over a good book, don't you? I'm gonna freak out. Confession. I deleted. That's not the best part. There's bookmarks. I literally am gonna kiss you, Peyton. This is the best package I think I've ever gotten. You guys aren't ready. They're like metal, perfect quality because they're like not like flimsy. These are all addicted Callaway Daisy. Lily and Low. Rose. Are you kidding? Rose and Connor. Wait. There's more. Don't think that was it. A Harry Styles one. What a queen normal people love in other words are you kidding and then here is it ends with us and reminders of him how do i choose which one to use okay wait and the stickers like i said i'm just this one it's like she knows i love crooked kingdom with my whole heart i'm gonna put these all on my computer when i get a new one seriously guys you need to get these you need to shop these are amazing i actually this i'm not getting the best package i've ever opened and i went on her instagram so cute but she has like other ones like it's not just like the ones that she sent me this is amazing i literally want to cry i didn't even eat i literally went downstairs to make food I saw my packages and I was like, I need to open this. What is this? Thank you, Peyton. I'm gonna link this all down below. Her Instagram and her website. I'm so upset. I'm reading, I'm reading a book on my Kindle right now because I can't use a bookmark. I think I'm gonna start with Rose and Connor since I just read it. The Love and Other Words one. Are we kidding? Look at them. I'm gonna go fangirl over these bookmarks. Goodbye. It's this little like, cute little dog boutique thing. And then we went to Home Goods and Marshalls. And I got pillows for my bed. They throw blankets coming in. Two things are up here are coming in. And I want like a long body pillow there. So it's not gonna look like this when I'm done. But this is just where we're starting. I can't tell if I like it, but I just got it. And then I got a hat for when I go to the beach. Isn't it cute? Instead of wearing like a little baseball hat, I think it's cute. And the back of it has a bow. I don't know if you can see. It was fun so i'm gonna finish editing and then read my book i've been reading like throughout the day because it's easy because it's on my phone i'll just like throw on kindle when i was like in the car today or whatever i'm on page 66 i am 17 percent of the way in so after i edit i'm gonna try to read and then i think later i'm going to hang with chris i don't know what else but i'm reading too late like i said by colleen and this one in the description of it it says that this book was originally written as a side project by the author it previously appeared on her platforms under the same title but has since been slightly edited from its original content and it's from colleen but it's writing as c hoover it says please note that the content of this book is more graphic than the content of other books written by this author hence the distinction between the names so she used like a different different name for this book because it's more i guess like intense and like there's more graphic things in it which right from the first scene like it's definitely more graphic than what other colleen reads like are i feel like i always went to a colleen book already loving it it just depends what the book's about is if i end up loving it or not like i love the way colleen writes so i like all of her books like i just know i'm gonna enjoy reading it obviously i'm gonna read it so quick because it's just 
always a colleen book i just i love it but it's like the tropes in it like the single parent child tropes and stuff like that aren't for me so i know i'm gonna enjoy the book i just don't know if it's the book for me so we're gonna find out right now it's good i guess you could say it is like intense and graphic but it's nothing like like i've read crazier descriptions of things but i guess for colleen it's definitely more intense anyway i'm gonna go edit i lit two candles in my room because i haven't lit a candle in a while one over there is going and then one here is going that's all for me that's my update i'll see you in a little Night. Well, Chris and I went to Target. I got a few things I want to show you and then we'll end it there But my throw blanket came from my bed and something looks so off. I think I'm gonna let me show you first This is the throw blanket I got. I don't like it. It's really long I just didn't know how to fold it or like how to like put it on my bed I think I'm gonna get this in like a baby blue color to match the florals of there So the whole all white is just not doing it for me. It's from Wayfair by the way It's really nice quality. I just don't like the color. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Also my poster delivered. There's a sneak peek I'm not showing you frames for it delivered today So that one goes there and then my other one delivers in a few days and it's gonna go there So help me with my bed because I just want it to look clean and cute I'll give you a room tour after those posters come because that's like the whole point Point of my redoing my room. I wanted those posters so bad. Anyway, at Target, other than no, I got those at Home Goods, but I got coffee making ingredients. It's five dollars a day, six dollars a day. It was really adding up, especially right now. I need to stop buying coffee every day and just splurge what I'm feeling it. Or like if I'm going out somewhere, I need to start making it at home. I buy the Starbucks cold brew, and then I bought non-dairy sweet cream creamer, and then I put almond milk, a little bit of it in there. It doesn't taste as good, but it'll work. And then I got one more thing at Target. Remember I said I need to go on a book buying ban? Yeah, that didn't happen. So my best. Lily, I talked to her on Instagram. She said, no questions asked. You need to read it. So I got it. I hate that there's a sticker on it, but All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. I heard this was sad, so we're gonna have to see, but it was only like $9. So it was a steal. Target books are like cheaper, so I thought it was like a sign because we've been talking. She's been telling me to read it, and then I went to Target, and it's like right in front of my face. So I was like, okay, I'll get it. But yeah, I'm reading too late. And if you want to be completely honest, I love Colleen to death, but I don't like it. It's just like, I don't like the love triangle going on. I don't love the intensity. I don't know. It's like not for me. And Anyway, that's all. Today I'm gonna, I think, go for a walk or something or go like to the gym. I don't know. I need to like be active and then just edit literally the rest of the day because I need to finish those two videos. But yeah, I'm happy that I vlogged. I've been missing vlogging. I know my channel is turning into a completely a book channel. That's not how I started my channel. So I'm trying to keep that in here because some of people are like, oh, I miss when you did vlogs. And I'm like, oh, I'm trying. Cause it's like, I don't know. It's a lot, but I do like vlogging. So it's not like I'm doing this because I feel like I'm forced. I'm doing this because I like it. That's all for me. I'm gonna go get ready for my day and <sighs> That's all. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know. Actually, help me if you can, if you have an interior eye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!